Hello everybody, good evening. So, today we're going to talk about many, many awesome things and many interesting uh, uh, things that has happened here in, in the world of Skyway. And I have some great new news to you as well, which I will bring um, to you in the end of this presentation. So before we go on, I, I will introduce a little bit myself. My name is Michael, I'm from Estonia and I've been a Skyway, uh, Skyway investor for about three years now. And then uh, since the beginning, when I first heard about Skyway, I've been through so, so, many, uh, so much uh, and, uh, and I have experienced many great things uh, together with, uh, with the project. And I think one of the greatest thing was uh, going to, to the EcoFest, the event which is held once a year. Um, and this is one day where all investors can go to Marina Korka in Belarus uh, to visit the Skyway Demonstration and Certification Center. And that is really awesome, awesome uh, day. And I recommend to you all who are listening to this uh, webinar right now that when you have the chance or when we have the chance again to to go to the public event like that, then uh, be there and you can experience all the models, all the well, the atmosphere, and then you can see Anatoly Nitsky himself and hear his speech and and talk to other uh, uh, investors there. And and it, it's a very like-minded event, which I recommend you all to come. And of course, the another uh, innovation center we have in the United Arab Emirates in uh, Emirates called Sarja, and it's located about approximately 40 to 50 kilometers from Dubai. And I have been there twice myself as uh, well. First time there were there were only Skyway flags uh, next to the road, which I drove with car. There was just an empty land plot, and, and the first building, of course, were were under construction, but there was no signs of. Uh, of Skyway facilities or Skyway models or lines there or tracks, only only the flags. But it, this was all already very awesome. And you can see this video uh, via my YouTube channel. If you put in my name, then uh, I recorded that uh, day as well. But the second time when uh, when I had the chance to go there it was with the first delegation, uh, Skyway Skyward community with Skyward World community delegation. And that day was also really, really great because uh, among with being with fantastic people, we all had the chance to see the first track there and the first uh, support and hear Anatoly Onitsky's speech and how he talked about everything, what will be here. And today, when we, when we take a look at the news, and I will show you some pictures as well, then uh, we, we will understand what he was uh, talking about. And uh, talking about the man himself, Antonio Niski, congratulations to him because he had a birthday. Mm, he turned 72 years old, so there's a long uh, way to go for him as well. Despite his, uh, his age, he's very youthful and, and very energetic and, and works with more, uh, with more than 20 Skyway offices all around the world. So, so he's a very busy man. And, and, uh, and hopefully this will continue for a long time. But uh, to celebrate Anatoly Onitsky in um, these special coupons were made for him. So this, this uh, information um, is meant for all the investors right now. So basically, when we when we decide to invest uh, first time or or, or reinvest, then there is a chance to to receive uh, twice as many shares as we would have received uh, without this uh, campaign. And this uh, campaign is valid until fourteenth of May. So go to your back office, take a look there, and and uh, and uh, read all the terms and and uh, make your choice. All right, now let's see some pictures. Uh, what has been done in um, in United Arab Emirates in Innovation Center in Sasha. and as you can see, the first line is ready. The first uh, 400 meter line, and this is the track. There you can see the line on the right side, and two other tracks which are two and a half kilometers long. Uh, those are under construction right now, and. Uh, 
and of course we have this uh, amazing eco house there which is self uh, sustainable so it is meant to be self sustainable so it, it could produce uh, itself its water its uh, climate electricity and so on and uh, this is what is awesome is that this is the first ever been built wooden house in United Arab Emirates so no company nobody has ever built at least officially a, a wooden house in United Arab Emirates so this is the first one and Sky has done it so that means all the investors we are the co-owners of it as well and this is really really great and uh, I remember when I was in, in in the innovation center some years ago then he showed that Anatolinitsky showed that here will be the echo house it will be complete there was some walls of course back then as well but uh, today it's uh, much different so Hopefully we will get the chance to go there as well, all together as a delegation. So, and I think during the Expo 2021, there is also a chance to, to go see this with your own eyes. So I recommend this. And then of course there are, uh, as I mentioned, some uh, two other tracks under construction. So this is part of, part of it. So the work goes on despite, uh, despite the coronavirus. It, it goes on very actively and has never and has never stopped. And this is the tropical unicar luxurious model for uh, for seeds, and then the tests are are uh, well. There is a lot of tests already done with with the models and and tests with humans also uh, should start very soon or, or are already have already started. But what it, what has also started uh, is that the first test with um, unicons so this is the smaller c container transportation system and uh, on the sharp line i like to say this mono monorail so to say and then uh, this is also re really great and after the other tracks the two two and a half kilometer tracks will be finished then we have um, the chance to test and demonstrate the larger c containers as well which weigh tens of thousands of kilograms but all right, let's continue with the uh, with, uh, presentation. Uh, I mean, the, mm, the main part of this presentation, I will tell you a little bit about this uh, uh, technology, mm, about the other technologies as well. I will compare them, I show you some pictures, and then I will tell you more about the, the reasons why Skyway is here to stay and why we'll be, uh, we will be a huge company in the near future. So, this is the, uh, the picture which one artist uh, trolled uh, about um, 100 years ago. And back then he already uh, saw that uh, the transportation systems will go on a second level. And that's, there's a simple reason for that. If we think about the bigger cities in Europe, well, for ex example, Rome or, or Paris or so on, then uh, we'll understand that the first level infrastructure is very well built. We have buses, we have cars, we have taxis, tram, tramways, trolley buses, uh, trains, and so on. But the problems still occur there, and and they even raise during the time because the population continues to to grow uh, or or to raise the number of people who are living in the city. The number grows, and and the number of vehicles grow. Um, and, and therefore the problems exist and, and we, we cannot just tear down the houses which are next to the roads to build well, the larger bath there but uh, we have to think about the new solutions and we have even underground uh, transportation systems in, in most of the bigger cities I mean the metro or, or the subway so therefore the only possible and reasonable way to go is uh, up on the second level and uh, people have tried that before as well and uh, successfully we have um, for example these the normal trains which are built higher and we have uh, monorails on the right side as you can see but take a look at the take a look uh, of them the, these technologies this the shape and and the construction it's, it's very massive so uh, therefore monorails are not uh, so widely uh, in use we can find them here and there and, uh, and for example in Dubai as well there is a monorail track and uh, 
as I did the research in, in university, I found out that more than 70 million US dollars was the cost per kilometer for constructing uh, the monorail. So it's quite expensive as well. But in Germany, for example, a few decades ago, they constructed this technology um, on the second level. But uh, as you can see, the supports um, behind the vehicle, they are after every 15, 20 meters. So they have to be in, in uh, well, they have to um, put there uh, um, in such short distances because uh, otherwise it wouldn't hold the uh, track above. So, yes. And in China, they have uh, basically uh, tram technologies uh, as a tram, but it's just upside down. I can see if, if the picture opens. Mm -hmm. And in somehow, I, yes. Well, sorry about the delay. Somehow my bitch, well, yes, here it is. And then we have these technologies, which are also widely used. The, well, basically we can see them in um, Portugal, in uh, Romania, Constanta, then in uh, Vietnam, in Fukok, there is the longest one in, in the world. And of course, in most of the ski resorts, uh, these technologies are used. But basically, what is the technology part here is that in the beginning of the track, there is this this um, uh, round shaped uh, engines which will pull the lines, basically all the track itself. So, so the models or the capsules where people go in, those are uh, stiffly attached to the um, chains. Or, or or the track and the track itself moves so that's the idea here behind this technology and then of course metro st metro stations and me me uh, these systems we have also widely used in the world so now let's see skyway so welcome to the new age basically what skyway has done nobody before or what anatoly Nitsky has done and, and his whole team is never done before so this is uh, the combination of uh, of well the best technologies or the best knowledge as well as the combination of new uh, possibilities and let's see the reasons why skyway is here to stay first one is it is innovative as you can see on the shape of this um, um, support here already or the models itself or the lines they are so neat they are very sharp and uh, and um, they won't take so much land they won't need so much land so it's uh, 10 times less uh, land allocation that is needed for for constructing skyway than well for example comparing to the normal roads or railroads and that's because of uh, of its um, height and 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 the string technology this is pre-stressed uh, string technology here that is used and Mm, and well the rail itself uh, as i mentioned there is a bristol string and it's filled with a, a concrete filler and what is uh, also very good to understand is that we can um, take different kind of communication wires and and pipes and so on through the track so for example in africa where they do not have electricity in every village then uh, if, if we take a track uh, through nearby the village then then it's possible to take the electricity for example there or, or internet uh, cables and this is a picture i made uh, back in 2019 during the ecofest uh, with the event which i mentioned to you in the beginning of this uh, webinar and this video is also possible to see um, via my youtube channel this is one minute long only but but you can experience what i experienced there and then being um, at the height of 15 to 20 meters and then thinking that this can go up to 150 kilometers per hour it's just awesome and the view is really really great so i recommend to everybody to come there if if you have if we have the chance in the future and uh, of course, what is more uh, great uh, with Skyway is that we can use both sides of the line 
or the track we can go upside or we can go downside as you can see on this picture so basically if we compare it with normal trains then uh, they can only go one side because they are located on the land but when we are on a, a upper or higher than above the ground then we can go both sides so this is also very important uh, to understand so second point let's move on second point is that we our technology is ecological and as you can see picture says more than thousand words mm, this is really great and it combines with the nature very well and even the sound um, pollution is uh, is only 50 decibels so this is basically the same um, amount of sound that is coming out of the tracks or, or the movement as, as i'm speaking right now and you might uh, know or have noticed that um, in the news and uh, the comments talk that we are reducing the co2 levels or trying to do that by bringing in new technologies that run on electricity so skyway also uh, runs on electricity and then does not produce any CO2 uh, while uh, running or while working. And uh, another aspect is wind turbulence uh, or sorry, wind um, uh, resistance, which is about 10 times less than with normal cars. And um, there are mostly two aspects of this. First one is that the shape of this um, models are as you can see on this picture and they are made specially to cut the wind very well and the other um, aspect comes from the screen effect because we have no land beneath our models then the wind can go freely under underneath so so these are the main two points and uh, eco what makes it uh, also ecological is the, is the possibility to go on the second level so therefore we do not have any problems like we have uh, with the first level um, first level uh, technologies that go on on a railroad or or on a or a has asphalt or so on all right so i will put on the second slides uh, yes here they are and of course the cost of construction uh, when we are trying to build for example the normal um, railways first of all we have to dig uh, about seven meters um, underground so we can fill it uh, with a special filler and uh, then we can uh, build the track um, on it so so it will be it will hold there uh, well uh, and in, in the nordics or in the, in the areas where there are a lot of mountains we have to ex explode the mountains which is also very expensive to, so we can uh, construct uh, uh, tracks uh, through the mountains these are all take a lot of money and resources and uh, therefore if we compare it with skyway we have much more uh, well positive aspects about it uh, even uh, let me see if this picture opens uh, especially when we think about uh, the areas where there are a lot of mountains like in in in, uh, in many areas in, in the world have and we can basically take it just from point a to point b without uh, building any um, well asphalt road um, on the sides of mountains which are very dangerous so this is much more cheaper way to do it and we can go even uh, through water uh, over the rivers, uh, over the lakes, and then the, it's not a problem as well. As you can see on this picture. The growth of a population I already uh, told you about, that that, that is, uh, we can consider it as, well, uh, the growth of population is not a problem, but what it causes, uh, it causes uh, the, uh, the, the raise in numbers of cars that are in use and then that, that causes problems traffic jams and so on so therefore these uh, problems which uh, which we have and which are raising um, all around the world uh, we need solutions for uh, to that so therefore skyway is, uh, is one um, amazing uh, technology that can solve this uh, these problems as well 
because uh, what is called this uh, park and drive system is basically in in well in smart city concepts where which are beginning to be more and more in use by the governments and by the cities and by the new places or areas where they are going to build uh, well facilities and houses and so on where people are going to live the smart city solution says that we will use the park and the tribe method which basically is when people coming from the suburbs or from the countryside they will park um, uh, not in the city but uh, near the city with a special uh, parking places and they can take the um, uh, transportation technology that uh, takes them from uh, from that place to for for example in the in the city center so yes so that's why Skyway is also, and that is how Skyway is going to solve this problem as well. But all right, let's talk about the third point, which is safety. A lot of people ask me about, uh, is it safe? And this is one main concern of comments as well yes it is safe basically the motor wheel and the derailment system can hold it so stiffly to the track so if we even put it upside down then the skyway model will stay there for example unibus and there was an uh, there was a accident uh, an accident uh, years ago uh, when the development began somehow a tractor got in the way of, of the, um, the test track and the unibus drove into into the tractor and uh, well the unibus was after after the crash the unibus was uh, very stiffly and strongly detached to the rails uh, sorry attached to the rails and even had the possibility to move uh, back and forward so nothing happened to it of course the tractor was uh, slammed and uh, but but everybody survived and uh, nothing so serious happened but that showed us that the technology itself is is as as it uh, is uh, said by the engineers. Of course, um, under the safety section, we have uh, all these cameras, uh, um, which can measure the distances, um, obstacles, and so on in the path. So, so this this work also very well. And uh, these systems, as you can see on the picture. Uh, and this is basically meant um, for transporting uh, another model. If something happens with the model on the track, then the other similar track can, uh, can come and they have the special elements in front and in the back. So they can attach uh, to each other um, very well and so they can pull, even, either pull or push to the station or, or nearest maintenance. And then we have these systems as helicopters have if if, uh, if if we need to get on the mainland which is much more safer than as you can see this way of traveling all right fourth point is that we have real models and products so it's not just a brochure or catalog we are showing uh, pictures out of but we have uh, already certified models as well, and you can see the large variety. And this is the uh, this is why we are ahead of other companies who try to do something similar as well. And as Ioniski himself said, that we are ahead of ten years of uh, possible competitors because we have this uh, already achieved these uh, model designs, and, and we have tested them and certified them, and we have two demonstration centers as well. So tropical unicorn in Sasha. This is just a picture I want to show you how 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 great it looks. And then of course in in um, in Belarus we have all these different kind of models. On the left side down below you can see the high speed um, model which goes up to 500 kilometers per hour. And then the, the uh, construction of of track for, for testing it um, up to 500 kilometers per hour. This should uh, start uh, in the beginning of 15th of, of development stage. So quite soon. 
And then we have uh, for uh, transporting uh, all the demanded goods, uh, sea containers, for example, also sand or liquids we have meant for, for, for everything. And you can see one animation picture here. And as I told you before, we can go both sides. We can have, um, for example, point A to point B goes above the above the track, and below the track goes uh, back from B to point A. So this makes it uh, twice as efficient by by the transportation sector or the or the um, moving uh, direction. And of course, the speed is much higher than if we compare it with ships or, or with uh, with the trucks. So therefore, the, the amount of uh, resources we will uh, serve, reserve or uh, save is much higher than with all the other technologies we know that exist today. And the fifth point is that we have demand for, for Skyway everywhere. And uh, Anatoly Nitsky in his last um, well, speech also told that uh, there are many uh, different projects going on simultaneously in different areas all around the world. So we just have to wait patiently to receive the official news where it should happen this year. But where exactly, me myself also, I don't know, but, but uh, we will hear about them soon. So, sixth point is that we have a strong and professional team. We have more than 1,000 workers. We have more than, uh, I will tell you the exact number. We have, because Antoninsky last speech, he told how many different um, facilities we have. Uh, we have uh, 36 buildings in different countries, and the owners of these buildings are our investors. And the buildings are our common ownership acquired for funds invested in the technology. So, so this is already a great achievement. And seven point is that it is financially beneficial. And uh, I, I can see two large uh, sites here. One is customers who will order or, or, or pay for, uh, for the technology. And um, as you can see, the comparison of or between different um, different technologies, for example, monorail. I mentioned it was more than 70 million US dollars per kilometer in Dubai. Average is about 40 million, uh, 36 to 40 million um, US dollars and growing. And uh, if you compare it for Maglev or Hyperloop, those are even more expensive. And, and uh, Subway on the Second Avenue in uh, United States, they constructed it not. Uh, well, recently, and it uh, cost more than one billion, would be billion US dollars per kilometer. So Skyway is much cheaper to construct. It uh, takes much less land. It's more eco-friendly. Mm, it runs on electricity, and there is uh, well all these points I have brought out uh, in this webinar. Those uh, those are benefit for 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 us and for Skyway. And of course, many governments all around the world see that and believe in that. And uh, that's why in United Arab Emirates, for example, the governments and uh, from from all around United, uh, United Arab Emirates, as well as uh, from another tropical climate countries, come there to visit the um, center, innovation center, to see it with their own eyes, to hear more about it and to make plans for the future. And some plans are made uh, because um, United Arab Emirate, Emirate media officially said out that uh, there will be tracks. Mm, for one track is about 10 kilometers long in Korfakan and the other one is more than 100 kilometers long. One is meant for, for mostly for people and the other one is meant mostly for transporting goods. And then uh, we were uh, on French television uh, recently about the same, the sea container transportation system. So that is also also great news. And now back to coupon system for uh, supporting the United Arab Emirates, uh, sorry, Skyway in United Arab Emirates. And as I mentioned, because of Anatoly and his birthday, they have made this special campaign. Mm which to do each year when Antonio Nisca's birthday, there is, all, 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 there is something to wait for it. But uh, right now this time has arrived and uh, basically we have a chance to invest and receive twice as much uh, shares 
as uh, normally. So that's why it's very good to go to your back office, open it and go look at the terms and, and, and all the possibilities to invest and, and make your choice. And the other great news is that the installment period is reduced to uh, five months and uh, shortening the installment pay payment period will help accelerate the financing of Skyway for the project to be able to achieve its, its goals in the Arab Emirates as quickly as possible. And registering the installment with the same terms for 10 months is possible until, uh, well, wasn't possible until the 26th of April. And, but now we have, uh, you can go and uh, see uh, the fifth five, uh, in Salman period uh, investment offers. And last but not least, mm, we have uh, proposed or Skyway and, and its CEO, Nadezhda Gozerova has proposed an alternative solution for shipping goods via the, um, via the Suez Canal. And as you can remember on the 23rd March, 2021, the freighter even given ran aground in the Suez Canal through which 30% of all container traffic and 12% of, uh, of the world's trading operations take place and daily losses from blocking the passage in both directions amounted to about uh, 9.6 billion US dollars and un until the canal uh, resumed operation on 29th March so about uh, one week the um, uh, freighter was there and blocked both both ways in the canal and uh, and that was uh, the loss was about 10 billion US dollars and therefore um, the logistic companies began to look for more reliable reliable ways to deliver goods and one uh, such solution was offered by Onitsky string technologies and uh, the company announced that uh, about 150 km string track can be built along the Suez Canal on which the Unicont cargo transport will run for transporting sea containers. And the sea, sea containers can both can be uh, 20 feet long or 40 feet long. And, uh, and the vehicles will be propelled by electric mot motors powered by a high voltage line of batteries. And the speed of these containers can go up to 80 kilometers per hour, which is five times faster than, than by a ship. And it can reduce the traffic from Port Said, for example, to Port uh, Tafik from uh, 14 hours to uh, two hours. So it's 12 hours win there in time. And the unloading process, which is also very important, will take no more than 65 seconds. So it's it's something great, isn't it? All right, we're at the end of our presentation. So the Lava has already uh, gave uh, gave his gave already his blessing to Anatoly Niski some years ago and said that uh, it will not be easy path for you, but uh, eventually you will succeed. And so I believe the same. And it hasn't been easy, but uh, eventually we will succeed. And as we can see the results already, we have many, many demonstration centers already and um, multiple projects waiting to, to go forward. So therefore, uh, I wish you all positive mindset and uh, uh, make investments with this uh, new coupon, coupon offers, as well as tell your friends about the technology and, and the other people and, and uh, and yes, so share this information and let's, uh, let's win all together. So next time we will meet is uh, exactly in two weeks, the same time. And then we will talk um, about the news, about the latest news and then about the technology itself as well. So stay tuned and then we'll see you soon. All right. Goodbye, everybody.